Yo yo yo, what's up guys, it's Arpa here and today's tutorial will show you guys how to make that amazing effect But first of all, what have happened to the background? It seems like it's some event or something But I literally haven't played Fortnite since season 7 launched But I think I've gone a little bit off topic Let's get back to the tutorial The only plugins we will need is the software and universe plugins But other than that, drop a like, drop a sub And please use code YORP in the Fortnite item shop Since it really helped me out a lot But let's get right into the tutorial so basically the first thing you want to do is to time wrap the clip and sync it up with the music if you don't know how to time wrap a clip or want the exact time wrapping i use in this tutorial then i will link a major tutorial on that in the description but for now let's start doing the build up so the first thing you want to do is to go to your shot of impact that's the first we see the numbers appear so for me it's right here let's go there and press on your clip and press ctrl b to split your clip right there then from here we need to go about 40 frames to the left it doesn't need to be exact 40 so right there and basically press on your clip and press ctrl b again to split your clip right there basically now on the little part we got the object and press on it and hold out and drag one way up that will basically create a copy of it and what we need to do now is we basically need to mask out your shark there that's really easy to do and i'll show you guys how to do that right now basically just hover over it and go to the color tab and inside of here, basically go to circle with four dots right there and then press on this pencil right there. Then drag your red cursor all the way to the left and key from the correct one. Then you can zoom in a bit with the scroll wheel and basically you're gonna mask out your shark there. It doesn't need to be exact, but basically just click around your shark there. I will see you guys when I'm done with the first frame. So like that and then just connect them like this. Basically, I see you guys, you don't need to do it perfect. I didn't do it perfect at all. I myself think that it looks even sometimes cleaner and much better if you don't do it accurate on this effect. But basically what you need to do now is go with your arrow keys on your keyboard just frame by frame and just correct the dots like this. To take away a dot, just press it with your scroll wheel on the dot and it will disappear like this. You don't need to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframe automatically when you change something but basically i'll see you guys when i'm done with everything so like this now i'm done basically what you're gonna do now is just go to nodes up here if you don't see you just press on nodes up here and right click anywhere and press add alpha output and connect it like this now basically go back to the edit tab and basically right click on the clip and press new compound clip and press create so like this and basically what you're gonna do now you're gonna basically drag one layer up just drag it up like this and then you're gonna hold up and drag it one layer up again so basically create two copies above each other like this and skip one way. Now basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the copy below, so in the middle, right there, right click on it and press open in fusion page. Now in the description you should find the Google Draw folder. In that Google Draw folder, download the background character CC and basically just download that and drag it in like this basically and basically connect it like this and you will see this really crazy cool kind of magma effect basically what i'm gonna do now is go back to the edit tab and then in the edit tab you'll see this really cool effect in the background like this it looks really cool in my opinion but now basically we need to basically on the copy above it basically right click on that and press open infusion page then in single ruffle you should find a shark the cc preset basically just download that and drag it in like this and connect it it's just i put the wrong with the saturation and the brightness a bit then basically go back to edit tab and use this really cool effect now we need to add the background color correction and then we're gonna add the zoom in it's in a bit special but we need to do that so make sure that you watch carefully the background color correction we are gonna put it on this layer we skipped so basically go to effects again the adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact make sure that you can't make it shorter because that will mess up the breeze i'll tell you guys when you can make it shorter please just have a it and go to the fusion tab then saying good ruffle you should find the background color correction preset basically download that and drag it in like this it's some radial blur and saturation uh, then basically you can go back to edit tab and now we're gonna add the zoom in how we're gonna do that is go to top play up here go to effect during the adjustment clip make it so it ends on the shot of impact by the way you can make thick with the background color correction short now from the beginning make sure to right click and press render cache color but also then basically make sure that you don't make the adjustment clip above shorter basically just hover it Go to the fusion tab in the same good draw for the download them. Uh, zoom in preset. Basically, just download that and drag it in like this. It's just a blur my curve. Then basically go back to edit tab 
then basically on these two copies in the middle what you can do is you can if you have a crosser over them you should see two rectangle things in the corners take the one to the left and drag it a bit to the right do the same thing to both just a bit like this and now it's basically just the impact left to add how i'm gonna do that is go to fx drag in the adjustment clip make it so it starts on the shot of impact just hover over it and go to fusion tab in the google draft folder you should find an impact preset basically download that and drag it in like this go back to the depth right and press around the cache color bit and this is how it should look and now it's basically just the sound effect left to add how i'm gonna do that is go to the frame before the beat happens in the music so right there press ctrl b to split your clip right there then on the first clip we just split it have it cross over it and you should see two ignoring things in the corners take the one to the right and drag it to the left to where the effect starts then in the middle you should see this dot basically drag it down like this you basically can play around with this yourself and that's basically it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed please consider and drop a like drop a sub and i'm actually doing a q a video really soon so if you have any question you want to ask me basically just go in the description and join my discord server then in the q a channel basically just write your question and you will have a chance to be in my q a video but see you guys in the next tutorial bye